Attorney General Faris al Rawi is making it clear there is no need for Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley to resign over the email gate affair. On Wednesday at his office, the AG said while the email gate investigation was completed, misinformation is being put into the public domain. A letter dated July 5, 2019 from the Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions, Joan Honoré Paul, to the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Harold Phillip, states there was not sufficient reliable evidence of a criminal offence which could be prosecuted beyond a reasonable doubt. The Attorney General said that this does not mean there has been an exculpation. It says in the round that the existence or authenticity of 31 subject emails can neither be confirmed nor denied. It explains that the United States authorities specifically informed Trinidad and Tobago that because the preservation order was made nine months later, that there was effectively a risk or likelihood that the emails could have been deleted by the users of the accounts. He said there's also the matter that only one of the people named in the email threads surrendered his device to the TTPS Cybercrime Unit. He was referring to then a former UNC advisor, now Police Commissioner Gary Griffith. The persons who could have corroborated innocence in this matter had an opportunity by handing over the devices themselves. Had that been handed over, well then it would have been conclusively demonstrated that there was nothing. The question really here, I think that you would be asking is, well, why wasn't it handed over? If your device had the ability to demonstrate your innocence, the Attorney General said he will not be caught in the political blame game. Tobago, I want to take the very careful step to say that I will not make commentary in relation to who politically has won or not, but I have an obligation as Attorney General to disclose the full advice 